Hey, what is up, everybody? So the Packers just made a move, if you saw my last video, claiming Chauncey, or Chauncey, I think it's Chauncey Rivers off of waivers from the Ravens, an outside linebacker. So that is something that happened today. Um, but I want to go through sort of a little bit from Packers training camp, as I have done the past couple weeks. We have a few different tweets here from Packers reporters who have been at the actual field in person watching what's going down. So I thought I should cover that once again today. Um, but also, do you guys know that today there's a football game on today? I think it's Cowboys versus the Steelers. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I heard that was coming up soon. I didn't realize it was actually tonight. So I may actually watch some of that. Um, I may potentially watch that. I do have a fantasy football draft tomorrow, so I got to study a ton tonight. So maybe I can multitask and do both of those things. But but anyways, um, now on to the information you came to see. So starting off, we have this tweet from Ryan Wood. He says, really good one-on-one -on -one battle between Elton Jenkins and Rashawn Gary. Jenkins handled Gary's speed rush on first rep, but Gary came back with a bowl to win the second. Two athletic studs here. I mean, that's a pretty solid matchup. Elton Jenkins is a boss. Rashawn Gary is a boss, a beast. They're both beasts, so two beasts going at it. It's pretty sweet. Um, now moving on to another tweet from Ryan Wood. He says, Eric Stokes has taken his lumps against Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams in camp, but he just won a rep there. The rookie covered up a good route nicely down the left sideline. Nowhere for Rodgers to place the football. So that's good news for Eric Stokes. It's not all bad for him facing Aaron Rodgers. At least he has at least at least this one play here. I'm guessing there are more that he did well on, but that's good news for Eric Stokes. Good job. Way to, um, way to defend. Way to defend. All right, uh, next one. We got Tom Silverstein says, cornerback Jair Alexander getting snaps in the slot first I can recall that happening this camp unless I missed it Jackson and Stokes outside so Jair Alexander getting to play in that like star slot position that has been talked about in Joe Barry's defense I remember reading somewhere that last year Jalen Ramsey played a little bit in that position as well so maybe Barry wants to use Jair Alexander in that position at times because um, I think I remember from one of Joe Barry's press conferences, he basically said he likes to use lots of people in that position, um, sort of maybe mix them around sometimes. So maybe sometimes Jair will be the guy in that area. So something interesting to point out. And then we have some more Jordan Love news, which people um, tend to like. So uh, first off from Wes Hodquitz, he said, a few nice throws from Love in team, popped a laser to Begleton a little while in middle of field and now hits Funches on an out. So that seems good. It seems like those are both completions, it seems. And um, then Rob Domofsky says, Jordan Love had a couple of impressive, fro Im Im impress impressive throws. Um, yeah, that's how you say it. A tight window crosser to Reggie Begleton and a good placement on a sideline out to Devin Funches. So I think that was the same thing Wes Hotkins was saying. But earlier threw a duck on a deep ball. That's not good. We'll hear from Love the first time in camp after practice. And then we have one more about Jordan Love. Matt Schneidman says, undrafted rookie safety Christian Uphoff picks off Jordan Love on a dead duck deep ball down the middle during team. Love has had a few too many of those throws this camp. So basically what I feel like I'm seeing from Love it seems that he is having lots of bad throws. He's throwing some picks. He's making some bad decisions. While at the same time, he's having some impressive throws. So it's like some good, some bad. Um, you know, just sort of probably as we would expect from a young guy. Um, so not all impressive. Definitely still has some things to work on and, you know, develop for, for Jordan Love. And then to finish it off, we have Juwan Winfrey once again impressing people. Tom Silverstein says, also wide receiver Juwan Winfrey continues to impress beat Eric Stokes deep with a series of moves, and then blew by Alexander. Second one would have been a TD, but ball was overthrown. So he beat Eric Stokes and Jair Alexander. So, I mean, if he's beating those guys, shoot. He maybe should be on this roster. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But those are all of the biggest things I sort of saw today from Packers training camp. And if you want to stay up to date with all things Packers, Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 10,000 uh, subscribers, which is awesome. I do appreciate all you guys who watch these videos, subscribe, have your notifications on, all that kind of stuff. I really, I really do appreciate it. But um, that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.